very warm good morning to all the brilliant students of Sri Gogulam Public School. Welcome once again to yet another fantastic English class. In the words of Martin Luther King, it is said that we are not makers of history, we are made by history. Hence, it can be very definitely said that history plays a great impact in each one of our lives. And so today we begin a new chapter from the text Hornbill, Unit 3, Discovering Touch, the saga continues. This chapter deals with the Pharaoh dynasty in Egypt and speaks about the death of a teenage ruler who had ruled Egypt for only nine years. What was the cause of his untimely death? Was a suspicious murder involved in this? The answers were sought by historians, archaeologists and medical researchers. Let's get into the chapter and know more about King Tut and his life. Tutankhamun, also known as Tut, was a teenager when he died. He was laid on rest, heavily loaded with gold. He was the last successor of his powerful pharaoh dynasty, which ruled Egypt for centuries. When his tomb was discovered in 1922, a huge question also raised with it. How did Tut die? Was he murdered? To answer these mysterious questions, almost after 80 years, his body was about to undergo a CT scan. On January 5, 2005, at 6 p.m., King Tut's mummy was placed in the CT scanner to investigate the mystery behind his death, which occurred more than 3,300 years ago. It is told that there was a fast, strange and unnatural wind as King Tut's body was taken from his grave, known as Valley of Kings, which is an ancient Egyptian cemetery. Dark clouds had covered quickly across the desert and hid the stars. Many tourists used to visit this tomb. Tomb means a monument made to the memory of a dead person. To pay respect to King Tut. They admired the wall paintings and the face of Tut painted in gold. Some visitors read the guidebooks in low tone, while some others stood silently, wondering about the untimely death of the young king. Perhaps they might be also thinking about the belief that the pharaoh curses with misfortune or death those who disturbs him. As King Tut's body was placed for CT scan, Zahir Hawass, Secretary General of Egypt, leaned over the body and said, the mummy was in bad condition due to what British archaeologist Howard Carter did to it in 1922 when he discovered the tomb after a long search. Initially, in 1922, the tomb was explored to analyze the valuable treasures placed along with the body. The treasures found at Tut's grave remains to be the richest in the world. Tut was buried with things of daily use like razor made of bronze, linen garments, board games, and even boxes of food and wines, which they believed he could use in his next life. Carter, the British archaeologist, took months to record the treasure found in Tut's grave. Tut was placed in the last of three coffins laid one upon the other. In the first coffin was filled with various flowers and leaves which indicates that he had been buried in the months of March or April, that is, the spring season. However, 
Carter was in difficulty when he reached the coffin with Tut's body as it was stuck to the bottom with the substance used to preserve the body. Even though Carter tried to detach the body from the gold coffin by using force, he was unable to do it. Carter tried to loosen the resins by keeping the coffin in hot sun. Later, he also tried to keep it in the heat of 149 degree Fahrenheit for several hours, but it remained still stuck. Finally, he had to use a sharp knife to chisel. Chisel means to cut out the body from the coffin. According to Carter, he had done this as he didn't want the thieves to steal the gold from Tut's tomb. During Tut's time, the royal people were very wealthy and by placing wealth in the tomb, they believed they could use it in their next life. Hence, Tut was lavishly adorned in precious collars, necklaces, bracelets, rings, amulets, sandals, clothing, everything of pure gold. After removing Tut from the coffin, he was later placed in a wooden box filled with a layer of sand to hide the damages of cutting the body. This was his new resting place. When the CT scan of Tut's body was conducted by Zahi Hawass, what were the details that it revealed? Was he able to solve the mystery? Let's find out more about this in our next class. Okay, my dear children, with this we are concluding today's class. I believe that probing into the life of King Tut had been very interesting for you. Notes of this chapter is attached. A test paper is also attached. You have to write the review test. So till we meet again, stay safe and keep healthy, be good children and study hard. Thank you.